What's up guys, are we live? Just let me know in the comments if you can hear me. Uh, if we're all good. I'm here. Hello. What's up? Cycling fanatics. Just uh, putting on some shoes. So, um... Are we all good? I'm gonna go to Watopia today. Uh, let me get on the bike and then... Uh, We start chatting. If you want to jump on the trainer, you can you can join me. I won't go too fast today. Just an easy easy spin. Is the audio good? Let me know. I can I can adjust the audio a little bit. Super, super awesome. So, um, Potopia, we're gonna ride. The only thing I need to do is add my, yep, okay. All right, guys. Okay, I can always jump on a race. Uh, I think if there's a race going on right now, I can still join, I guess. I can join with my... Uh with my phone in the companion app. I'll check if there is something going on now that I can join. I don't want to go fast. I want to start easy. Um, if you, I'm not sure if you guys follow me on Instagram because I did a little post on Instagram yesterday or today. Yesterday. Um, after the Taiwan KOM challenge, I did nothing. Zero for two weeks. So I did one ride on uh, Curaçao. So this is pretty much my first training session back in Holland, but I'm really gonna take it really chill. So don't expect me to start racing and going crazy. Just gonna go for a little spin. Got back from a, from a trip yesterday. So usually the first day after a trip, I always take it easy, but now I really, I really gonna take it chill. Lamb shop race. Let me see. Uh, events. Just checking the app. Lamb shop race. Yeah, but I don't want to race. Is it flat? It is flat. Okay. I join. It's woman only. The lamb shop race. So I cannot join. <laughs> Too bad. The Drift and L ride starts in the 15. Oh. This start need in the app. The Swift and L ride. Guys, I don't see that. Zwift and L 2015 staat er niet in. Waarom staat hij er niet in? Omdat de filters verkeerd staan. Oké. Okay. Filters were on races only. <laughs> Zwift en L ride. Wit, Ramon, Silkeldam. Pace and race. Gaan met die banaan. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna join the Zwift and L ride. Just because it's fun. I'll go in the C group. Because I'm gonna take it easy. 
All right, guys, I should change the title of my uh, <laughs> of my video then, huh? Joint event. I'm going to Innsbruck. So now I am going to Innsbruck. Gaan we die banaan? How long is this ride? Ah, oh, crap. Now I'm on the starting line for 10 minutes. <laughs> Super interesting. Okay, well, it gives me 10 minutes to chat. So, shoot. Uh, like I said, I just got back from a trip. Um, I actually want to change the title of my, my video now, but... Uh, All the best from Lithuania. What's up, Lithuania? Hello, Beck. Cycling fanatics. What's up, Ben? Nice you're here. Guys, let me know where you're from. Let me know what countries are around. Um, will I ever come back to the East Coast? To Philadelphia, I don't think so, not in the near future, but uh, someday, yeah, someday. 600 meter elevation, what? Hmm. The track is really good, Sam is really good. I think we're for a nice walk to the, to the goats, to the goat farm this uh, morning. Um, Long Beach in the house, hey Long Beach, I'll be in Long Beach. December 28th, 29th, so we can ride. James, Friesland, Germany, Puerto Rico, what up? Macedonia, what? Hong Kong is in the house, Israel, Groningen, of course, Groningen is always there. Uh, Nederland. Help the Zwift tomorrow. Hey, Roy, I'm gonna go easy. So, and what's up with Help the Zwift tomorrow? Uh, congratulations for my effort at the Taiwan KOM from Johan. Thank you very much, Johan. Hey guys, if you have not seen my videos from the Taiwan KOM, go check it out. Videos are rolling. I have one video, the big video of the race day. I'm editing, editing it right now. Well, not now, but it's in the in the editing software program, and uh, I'm probably gonna drop it on Saturday. That's the plan.
are you doing uh, cross country? No, XC is uh, Veldrijen. Huh? I don't like that stuff. Let me just post a little thing. I wish you knew about this. Would it took work? Would it took off work? What? Chris, taking off work. I'll do it more often. And um, I just got back into training. So uh, I'm, I'll do more of these rides online. Uh, Okay guys, sorry I'm just posting some stuff on my phone. I should get an editor for this stuff, right? Right? I'm back. Uh, our Krachtbasser. What? So now I see uh, some questions in the group app. App question? No, the group chat of Zwift. So I have to go there to answer those questions. So much stuff going on. Three minutes to go, and it's getting hot in here. So you want to switch on the fan? go <clears throat> tomorrow is a race up the Zwift at 1945 oh man I'm not sure I want to do a race and definitely not a, <laughs> definitely not a climbing race I've done a climbing race in Taiwan that was enough The meetup in Holland, in Nederland, the group ride in the Netherlands, it's gonna be... Okay, so I wanna launch the new Cycling Fanatics clothing on that day. So everybody that orders a Cycling Fanatics kit is able to ride with his kit and he will receive the kit that day. So we'll have to wait till production is ready. And the produ production of the kits was delayed. So that's why it took a little bit longer than expected. But the production is just started. And uh, so I almost have a date for the, the group ride in Holland. Uh, Power meter in pedals versus what's that? Ver versus uh, crank set depends on what you use it for. If you ride on a lot of rental bikes like me, it's very handy to have pedals. But my pedals are a little bit thicker than my normal pedals. So I tend to hit those on the ground when I turn very sharp and I pedal. Senator Media Channel, I'm not going full gas. I'm gonna take it easy. <laughs> I 
I never have layovers in Florida, Chris, never. I only, I was on a holiday in Florida, but there was not a layover, so. And I don't go on a holiday in Florida every week. <laughs> Hey, did you remember when you went in Montelimar with Jan and Jordi? Of course! Adrian Fernandez. Were you there? I'm sorry I can't remember your name, but if you were, I still have the footage from Montelimar. It was a great time. Back in those... In, back in the BMX time. Hey, the ride is on, guys. We're gonna start. Here we go. All these people in these orange jerseys, huh? Rustig aan, hè? Leon van Bom. That's it. Rustig aan. <laughs> Guys, have you seen my Taiwan KOM videos yet? Uh, if you have, let me know what you think. If you have not, the link to the playlist is right here in the comments and also in the description of the video. So you can click on it. I've got uh, three videos in that playlist right now. This weekend, I'll upload the, the, ne the next video of the race. Super awesome. I really enjoyed that event. And after the event, I uh, took some time off. Um, because I needed a break. But now I'm back in training. So I'm starting off really easy. It's winter, it's off season. Just taking it easy, taking it chill. With a nice roll, stroll around. Uh, where are we again? World Championship circuit. Sitcom video confirmed. Thank you, Victor. <laughs> uh, nice footage, seen the last one today. Nice editing as well. Thank you, Oli. Yeah, man, it took me a long time to edit those videos. So if you have seen them, for sure uh, drop me a like on the videos, you know. Help me out a little bit, maybe. Maybe you want to share them with your friends, put a little comment, a little comment down below in those videos. Always nice to hear from you, what you guys think and all that stuff. When are we going to get a CF jersey in Zwift? Ah, oh, Chris, I don't know man, I need to, I think, I think I probably have to do more on Zwift for the Zwift people to really do that. But maybe if the Zwift, the Zwift people get us a Cycling Fanatics jersey, then I'm gonna be more on Zwift, I don't know. It would be really awesome. We can do a Cycling Fanatic group ride on Zwift. Everybody gets the jersey, you know, a little bit like Tyler is doing with uh, the Vega Cyclist channel, that sort of stuff. No cyclocross, nah. I'm not a cyclocrosser. Uh, Marvin, you find it vervelend that I do videos per month? Okay. Jammer that you it vervelend vindt. Leo, LeBron, how long am I gonna ride? I don't know, I think I'm gonna do this ride. And that's it. 
maybe an hour and a half, something like that. Uh, hey, I'm in the front. Sorry, I'm going too fast. Oops. I'm so fresh, I'm just flying off the front. Let me see if there's any people chatting. Uh, I don't know. What's this red thing? I think the next video of Taiwan will be Saturday. Whatever Victor says to uh, to Marvin, I totally agree, man. You know how many th hours I put into making these videos? It's a lot of work. So I won't see any anything wrong with me promoting it and trying to actually get people to watch it. You know, it's very hard to actually get your video watched. I'm going too fast. I'm being called back to the group. <laughs> I've got 50 seconds to go back. How far do I need to go back? I mean, I'm pretty far back. Do I need to get dropped before I... <laughs> what? Ah! Okay. I almost got taken out of this ride, man. <laughs> so what I was saying is sometimes it's really hard to get actually people to watch your video because there's so many videos uploaded to YouTube every day. So if I don't promote my video, it's just gonna disappear in the sheer amount of content which is uploaded to YouTube. So, add some music to Zwift Stream. Don't, don't you guys hear the actual music of the Zwift program? Because last time, uh, that was the case. Last time, the music of the, of the program was also in my stream. But now it's really quiet. <laughs> Too bad. Oh shit, now I have to climb. Come on! I want to keep it steady. I think it's really good that they put that virtual fence in the in the group. Because normally everybody, even though it's an easy ride, everybody just starts racing like stupid. And now you're forced to do, to go slow, because uh, if not, you're gonna be kicked out. Really good, impre um, pro really good improvement from Zwift. Hey Raiko, thank you man. Thank you for your kudos.
Yenta, Soma's doing very well. He's walking around and all that stuff. Like you saw in the in my sort of uh, comeback video this couple weeks ago. Right now he's walking so much better. He's really making progression really fast, so that's fun. Sam is sleeping. Right now he's sleeping in his bed. What is this? Are we getting dropped or... Uh Staat je weerstand uit? Terug naar 2 watt per kilo. Hey Nikai, zaterdag. Um, wat doe ik zaterdag? Ik, ik woon niet echt in de buurt van Aanbong, hè? Ah, Sinterklaas, zaterdag. Sorry man. Ik ga naar Sinterklaas. So what's this? Uh, we're getting dropped now? Tagline. <gasps> hey, it's two watts per kilo and I'm doing three and a half. What am I doing wrong? Even van de harde trappen, ja. Oké. Okay. Hey Leon, ik ben gedropt man. Wacht even. Ja, yeah, I'm pedaling harder. I'm just gonna, I'm just not gonna go crazy. Like I said, I want to take it easy. Using my boost. Drafting boost. Here we go, shooting by, pow pow, bye. So much better if you stay in the, in the group. I hate chasing, I freaking hate it. Hi gang, Victor. You know, I climbed, the Taiwan KOM, faster than a couple pro cyclists, and I get dropped on Swift in an easy group ride on the climb. What? Yeah, yeah. (sighs) 
so far for the easy ride. Come on, wait for me. I don't know how I do this every time on Swift. I'm just a loser on Swift. There is not a single best endurance workout. Not in Swift, not in real life. That's the answer, the only answer to your question. Uh, Hey Roelhoef, ik, uh, ik kan wel elkaar het gas geven, maar dat wil ik niet. Dus ik doe even rustig aan. Als het goed is, kom ik vanzelf wel bij, toch? Maar als je wil laten afzakken, zou het top zijn. Quit and rejoin? Nah. Not my cup of tea. Pennsylvania, what's up, man? I think it's crazy that I have to do 320 watts, 4 watt per kilo, and I'm not getting any closer to this group. <laughs> Isn't it weird? Hey, Rulof is getting close, eight seconds. He's just falling back to get me back up to the group. That's very nice, Rulof. Thank you very much. Five seconds. Here we go. Oh, sorry, Rulof. <laughs> Do love a sprinting. <laughs> Here we go. Ah, get on his wheel. And don't get dropped. <laughs> How do I know if I'm drafting? Because my thing is up or down. Hey, Jim van den Berg is er. Heavy hitters in the group. Hey, I'm back in the group. Dankjewel, Rolof. Woo! Take a break. I love getting dropped. So awesome. Hey, the gaming guy. Ah, a mooi doel, man. Vooral 100% uh, voor gaan. Goed studeren. En dan kom je er zeker. Of je op een triple komt is niet 100% zeker, maar uiteindelijk wel. Tegen de tijd dat je in dienst bent, zijn er alleen nog maar trippels. Roy, what's your max heart rate? Last time I checked it was 205 or something.
can somebody give it up for Rulof? Because he got me back to the group. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The nice thing about Swift is you can just sit like this and your your aerodynamic resistance doesn't change. Okay, a little climb coming up. Garmin Auto Land. I have no idea. So I uh, I kind of missed it. This is a race from 30 kilometers in, or I don't know. How a duck? Cobbles. So everybody's going faster now. I think we're gonna go to a climb. Favorite place in the world to ride is Mallorca, probably. And that's why I'm doing my cycling camp in Mallorca. First two weeks of April. Cycling, the biggest cycling phonetics group ride ever. A week of cycling every day on the island of Mallorca. Check the link in the description to the website cfcyclingcamp.com if you want to know more about the cycling camp. It's going to be in April, super excited. Favorite wheelrunner? <laughs> Favorite rider? I don't know, man. I think still Sagan because he's just so funny. How can I join you on Swift? Uh, somebody can tell you that. Somebody, let me know. Uh, tell Joel how he can join me on Swift. I don't know. Go to Swift, click on my name, and then say join, I think. Eighty millimeter wheels are too deep. Sixty is good. Hey, I'm in the front. What? Coasting. Yeah, my keyboard is over there. I cannot reach my keyboard. <laughs> oh, big mistake! Big mistake!
biggest goal for 2020 is uh, become a father of my second baby. <laughs> That's the goal for 2020. <laughs> Hopefully it's reached in January. <laughs> I probably never have had a goal in, a, in that early period of, a, of the season. Daisy's doing very well, man. She's getting big, like this. Amange LM, yes, there are still spots left on the cycling camp. So check out that link, apply for the newsletter, send an email. And the, the, the people from Velo Guide will take care of you. They'll get you all the information you need. And uh, you can get in for sure. Uh, Jeroen, I can't do harder, man. Then I'll get the group weg. Then I'll get out of the Sam is now uh, about 16 months old and he will be one and a half when his brother is born in January. How often do you fly as a pilot? Every, every week. It's a full-time job. The gaming guy wants to know what's better to start the new season doing a lot of base miles or doing a, a fixed program and doing base miles later. Uh, depends on how well your, your base endurance is but it's always better to start with your base. If you don't have a wide base, you will lack recovery uh, in the rest of the season. So it's always better to start off with base because it takes a longer time to increase your base, your slow endurance. It takes a lot of hours and a lot of weeks and months to build that up. And your high end is easy to uh, increase in a few weeks so it's always better to start with base and once you approach the racing season do a couple weeks with uh, high intensity My favorite climb in the world. It's a difficult, difficult question. I have to choose between the Mont Ventoux, which I have a video about, and if you guys follow me, you probably have seen the, the story of my Mont Ventoux climb, which was awesome. I went there with friends, cheered my buddy, had a bet with his dad for, I think, 200 euros. If he was gonna go up the Mont Ventoux faster than his dad, he was gonna win the money. So we went there with five friends to support Cheert. And I went up full gas, as hard as I could. Super heavy back then, it was 2016. And I, uh, it was such an awesome day. Incredible climb, incredible story of that day. My best friend flew out of the corner on the descent. I thought he died, but he didn't. And the other climb is the Taiwan KON climb, the Taroko Gorge 
from Hualin from 0 to 3200 meters. Absolutely amazing event. A big suffer fest. You're gonna see it tomorrow or the day after tomorrow when I publish the video, but such an amazing climb. So I'm not sure. One of those. Definitely. Sakalobra is a nice climb. Absolutely beautiful. But compared to Mont Ventoux and El Duez and Taiwan KOM, it's not that iconic. You know, it's different. Hey Niels, what's up man? Jordi wants to know what plane I will fly after retirement of the 747. <laughs> I'm not gonna be on the 74 until it retires. Uh, I'll be away to another position before that. Right now I've applied for a position at uh, an Embraer at the KLM City Opera. So it's a small plane in Europe. Nothing is certain yet. We'll have to wait and see what happens uh, in 2020 when they make the schedule for all the training and repositioning of the people. What's this fence? Return to the group. Uh, whatever Niels Helden says is uh, correct. Right now I'm second officer on the 747, the biggest plane of KLM, Queen of the Skies. Most awesome plane there is, flying passengers. And I'm gonna be transferring to first officer. Probably not, nothing is certain yet, but that's the plan. Jordi Flottes, it's not a downgrade, man, it's an upgrade. I'll go up in position. So yeah, smaller plane, but higher rank. Uh, Johan, no, lo no long haul flights, no. It's gonna be European flights, all short haul. Nathan is a new uh, link. What is that for late flight? 15, 16? Nathan wants to know, he's 15, 16 years old. If it's better to attack a lot or wait for the end sprint. I think it's better to attack a lot because it makes you stronger. Waiting for the end sprint maybe is gonna get you one win in a year. If you're the best of all, then maybe you're gonna win a lot. But in the end, it's not gonna make you stronger. If you attack a lot during the race and also try and do the end sprint, it's gonna make you so much stronger which will benefit you the rest of your career. Don't think about now, think about the future. Attack. I have created a workout on Zwift because a lot of Zwift workouts are very complicated and it's usually better to make it simple. But I have aerobic uh, Robic Girona, my trainer, he makes my training plan on a platform, today's plan, similar like Training Peaks, and it connects with Zwift. So everything is in my training plan. I can just uh, click it in Zwift, and I get I get the the in, uh, interval session in Zwift in ERG mode. So that's what I usually do for training sessions.
Dank je wel, Alex. Uh, currently, I'm not sure what my FTP is. <laughs> it's probably still around 370 something. Maybe more, maybe less. I haven't done a test. But should you do the training when training instead of in the race? Sorry, Jelle Boskma. I don't understand. Please rephrase. Anders mag je het in Nederlands vragen en dan vertaal ik het wel. Do I have my trainer set to 100%? Pfft, I don't know. Probably not. Because I don't like to push up 8%. <laughs> It said at 110. <laughs> yes, that's it, Harry. Thank you. That's the correct answer. <laughs> Frank, my trainer is always set to 110%. <laughs> Do you ever fancy track velodrome riding during the winter months? I've never done that. But. I could, but I don't have a track bike, so, you know, I'm not sure. Uh, Jordi, you know, eventually in my career I'll step back up to the bigger planes, so I, I will turn First officer on a small plane for a couple years and I'll transfer back to a bigger plane. First as a first officer and then as the captain, which is more towards the end of your career. Oh, yellow, I understand what you mean. So if you should attack during a race or stay in with the group and try to finish strong because you can do a hard session in your training session instead of in the race. Well, a training session is never the same as a race. And actually racing is what makes you tough. And in a race you always go faster. And you always need to go faster and you know, when you get dropped, you get dropped, but it's just uh, very different. So I still think it's good to go fast in a race and to attack and get stronger by attacking and, uh, you know, be active. Because if you never attack in a race and always sit in in the, be in the peloton, which to be honest, I do that a lot, um, you'll you won't learn as much and that's very important as well Victor no track bike hmm. no Victor that's about the velodrome velodrome track velodrome track uh, the Wielerbahn Uh, Roy, uh, the European flights is more like a natural uh, change in position for me. So it's sort of a normal step 
to take when you start your career and then step up to become uh, eventually become captain of a wide body but so it's just a, a normal step to take if it's going to help me get a more consistent life in the family i'm not sure we'll, we'll have to find out uh, it doesn't mean i'm home a lot because i'll still stay for some nights at a, a distant airport somewhere so I'm in a simulator four times a year of which two times is a test and two times is only training so four times so what's this we're going faster now or When you feel tired, you should take it easy. When you go at least four times in the gym, uh, sorry, on the trainer, you should not uh, do intensive workouts every time. Let me see what's Leon van Bond saying. The challenge, what's the challenge? I missed it. Perk. Oh, there's a lot of questions coming about flying, huh? <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go faster now. Hey, Jeroen. The new clothing is coming the end of December or the beginning of January. Final, final design has been approved by myself uh, last week. Uh, it was delayed a big time, but right now it's gonna start production. So soon, 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 soon. What the... Uh 9k to go what what's the deal i'm sorry i missed it again i'm, I'm too busy with with the with the live stream the challenge is to keep on with ramon okay mr single dog where is he in front of me oh i uh, need a drink don't forget to drink Okay, so under the bridge where we go to the left, it's full gas. That's what the, the leader said.
Okay, so single dom is in front of me. The berg op. Ah, come on. We're going uphill, eight kilometers. Why? Why? Stupid climbs always. Increasing my fan speed to stage two. The stupid thing about these swift races is I cannot go easy, you know? Right now I should be saying, okay, bye, that's it. But no, I try to stay with the first group. Why? Why? These guys are popping like popcorn. Wow. Square root of persimmon. What is persimmon?
15 minutes. Is this climb all the way to the top? Uh, like 9% or what? I'm keeping my helmet for the finish. So it was going to be an easy ride, huh? Look at me doing a threshold heart rate. Single dump. Single dump. What? I'm on his wheel! Nobody behind me! Trying to find the, this one. <laughs> ah, crap.
Okay, Mike. Okay, Hopi, close the gap. Ah. Oh, for shit. I know my time, I'm messing up. It's a swift shit. Third place. Who is the guy uh, who is first? Hey. Van Amerongen attacked. Crap.
Okay, that was an easy ride. Uh. Hey, now I have a feather. <laughs> Okay, when you go uphill, 1k to go is a bit too early to sprint, but uh, it turned out okay. So. Woo, downhill! Thanks guys, I'll stay around for a little bit, I am the official winner, no heart rate on the first, yeah, Hans Peter, Hans Peter, Hans Peter, I think Hans Peter, Jelle, I, I, I heb die vraag gezien, ik zal haar zo antwoorden. Heel even ademen. So who is on Zwift uh, Zwift Power? What's the website again? Can somebody check my the official result?
Okay, so uh, Yellow wants to know how I keep motivated doing YouTube videos. Well, everything starts by um, passion and uh, the, the love for cycling. I grew up riding a bike. I started BMX racing when I was four years old. I wasn't even five, my bigger brother started racing BMX. So I went with him to the BMX track. Small kid, I was not allowed to race yet, but I was already wearing like BMX racing outfits and stuff. That's when I started cycling and I transferred to the road bike. And the, the stuff you see when you're on the bike is just so amazing. Uh, I just love riding my bike. And it's just so cool to, uh, you know, to share that with other people. And if you go back to the very beginning of my channel, you will see only videos of other stuff. Well, you see videos of BMX racing and my holiday, my time when I was in Australia. I lived in Australia for a year. I made videos about that. So I also enjoy making videos and that combination it's just super awesome. I think it's, I like making videos. Uh, the stuff I do is so inspiring to other people, which inspires me. So that's where I keep motivated, I guess. So as long as you guys keep watching and supporting me, I'll keep making videos. And I have to say, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of work. I spend a crazy amount of time on making videos and sometimes that's too much so I have to step back which I did this summer I took a break I told you guys the reaction of uh, the community was awesome you know everybody supports it so uh, I want to keep doing it that's the long answer thanks for your question <laughs> Uh, flight school was at uh, KLM Flight Academy, yes. What's my workflow for making videos? Wow, that's a real long workflow, man. Uh, everything starts by by shooting video. When I shoot video, I make a plan. I have a storyboard in my head or the storyboard creates itself during the day. Uh, so I have a, I basically have the video in my head when I get home and I put my SD card in the computer, you know? So I transfer all those files, which is sometimes as much as 50 or 60 gigabytes transfer it to the computer. Uh, I open my editing software, import it in the software, and then I just put everything on the timeline. And I start clipping, take out all the rubbish, and then I start looking for music. Sometimes it takes me two hours to find the right music for a video. So to give you an example, how long it takes just to find music sometimes I can't find the right song or I have a subscription at uh, epidemic sound so I pay money to use music because if I don't I get strikes on YouTube because everything is protected nowadays so if I use pop music from famous artists you know it will get uh, uh, striked so I find music, I put the music on and then I start editing on the music, on the beat. I take out all the the ahs and the uhs and the stuff where I 
say stupid things or I don't want to do it in a video. And then sometimes I, my video is chronologic, but sometimes it's not. So I switch things up, I move things over, and it takes a long time. Uh, sometimes I have two hours of footage and I make it into a 20 minute video but when I do a race the whole process is way more difficult uh, I have to put I have to take the file from my cycling computer put it on the computer open another piece of software to create the overlay with all the data then I have to connect the overlay with the video and when I do a long race it's four and a half hours of video so I have all the video and the data and I go through the entire race taking out the pieces that I want um, takes me two hours because I fast forward but I have to go through the entire race to get the key points of the race I write down what happens the entire race and then I do the voiceover. I tell with my microphone, I tell what's happening in the video. Um, so that voiceover takes me sometimes an hour because I do some parts I do multiple times. And then I have to take out every part that I don't speak to make it a little bit faster. I cut out the mispronunciations, the pieces that I don't want to tell. So I go. I have to go through the entire thing again. Um, are you guys still listening? I have no idea, it's a very long story. So if you guys think it's interesting, let me know. So then I have that and then I always shoot a little bit of intro and some parts on the end of my race for vlog. So I have to edit that. And then you think you're done, but then I need to create a title of the video. I have to think about, okay, what title is interesting for people to watch? What title is interesting for people to click on? Because YouTube is so difficult to stand out for people to actually watch my video. So it needs to be an interesting title. That's also, it, I don't want to have it to be clickbait, but it needs to be, it has a need to have a good connection with the video and also interesting for people to watch. So the title and then the thumbnail. I have to create a thumbnail. Same story for a thumbnail. It needs to be interesting. It needs to pop. So I sometimes it takes me two hours to create a thumbnail. Crazy if you think about it. Two hours take to just make a thumbnail. And then I want to make an intro for the video. So people don't click away in the first 10 seconds. So I take some interesting parts from my video, put it in the beginning. So when you click on the video, it's like, wow, this is a cool video. I want to watch the rest. And then I render it, which takes a long time. Um, and then upload it on YouTube. I have to write a description, put in the title. I have to put in end parts. I have to put in all the tags. Um, you know that takes another half an hour to 45 minutes and then you know three days later I'm done <laughs> and then I have to publish it at the right time so it's a lot of work I can make a video about making videos right <laughs> Hey Rulof, nog bedankt hè? <laughs> Everybody, give it up for Rulof. He, he went back to get me and then I dropped everybody. Booyah! By the way, I'm, I'm, I've got a uh, polka dot jersey. What's this? Is this because I won? Crazy shit! It's the polka dot! <laughs> Woohoo! Am I riding up the same climb again or what is this? I don't want to do that. Let's turn around. See ya. Go. Turn around.
Uh, Johan says, <coughs> we are huge fans, we don't need fancy titles. The thing is, even if you are a, a frequent viewer, if you have a crap title and a crappy description and not a good thumbnail, YouTube is just not gonna show your video. That's just how it works. And Roy, uh, start to finish workflow, would you think four or five hours? No, one video can take up to 10 hours or longer. If I have a video in four hours, I'll be super happy, but that never happened. Uh, it's always like 10, 10 to 15 hours for me to get a video ready from start to finish. Yeah, Niels, uh, doing a video about piloting is pretty much impossible. I actually discussed this recently. Yeah, they don't want it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to click turn around on the companion app, you know, right there. But it doesn't work. It's not turning around. Press and hold. Oh. Ah! Oh, I love you guys. You guys are so awesome. No? Turn around? Turn around! Yeah, I'm pressing and holding. <laughs> yeah, turning around. And I lost my polka dot. Why is that? Yo, Mike. Yes, of course, man. I'm sorry. Big shout out to Mike. He pretty much did my lead out with like 5k to go. Uh, so, wait a minute. A clap and a shout out to Mike. Leading out, Cycling Fanatic. Leading me out to the finish. Too bad uh, Mr. Uh, Thijs already left. I didn't see him go. Or uh, if I, if I would have, I would have stayed on his wheel, I think. Anyway, Morgen Alp Zwift, but that's an hour climb, man. Come on. Uh, I will ask my trainer <laughs> if I can do that. He's probably gonna say no, but maybe. Nobody's squawking 7500 anymore. It's not a good thing to do, big mistake. Oh, I left the climb. Really? Oh, okay, I get it. When I ride the climb that I have the the KOM on, I have the jersey. But I, when I turn around, I don't have the jersey. The Grizzly video. The Grizzly video is very well made. Thank you very much. And so far, one of your best videos. Um, how long did it take me? Whew. A long time you know why because it's basically two videos in one because I did the video on the weekend so I made the video of all the clips during the weekend but I also told the story the week after and I put those in you know I mixed those videos and it made one story so that takes extra time Obviously an extra day to, to, to shoot the video, but also it takes more time to think about it More time to check where the video is Where it should go in the story. So it took me multiple days to do that video of uh, Grizzly So if you guys have not seen the video of the mountain bike race in Big Bear It's a very awesome video. Go check it out. Also give me a thumbs up on this video and then go check out the KOM videos of Taiwan because they're awesome. Niet Janken. Thomas Rief. Oké. 
1 hour 33. Is it about the same as the real Aldo S or not? The Aldo Swift? Because if it's about the real one, I can do it in an hour. <laughs> Let's not make jokes about squawking 7500. It's not funny. Shit hits the fan when you do that. I'm not gonna do that. Your avatar socks though. What? Socks? Oh, my avatar socks. Are they not good? What's wrong with my socks? I can change my socks. What's wrong with the socks? Too high? CBR 2020. Man, I have actually looked at the dates of the CBR races. Uh, if you guys don't know what CBR is, it's the criteriums in Los Angeles. The thing is, our baby is coming in January. And there is a couple CBR races. One is January, like, I don't know, 18th. One is February 2nd or something. That's right before and after my baby is about to be born. So I, I can't really plan those races. Too bad. Maybe in mm, March. Maybe in March. I don't know. I would love to do some CBRs, but I really don't know. Yeah, Roy, I thought he meant the motorcycle, My, I, because I have a Honda CBR actually, I never use it, but it's in the schuur. But uh, he was talking about the, the Criterions in LA. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Okay, I'm gonna ask my trainer if I can do the tour this week tomorrow. I'm saying, hey Leon, can I ride? Okay, I'll ask my trainer if I can race tomorrow, so it's on him, I don't know. Mike Tönissen is too fast for me, man.
I think I'm gonna quit for today guys it's enough it's 10 to 10 um, I'm gonna get some food I'm gonna get some food the baby is still in bed Sam stayed sleeping so that's very good um, if I will race tomorrow on Zwift I will try to uh, set up the live stream as soon as possible so you guys can uh, see if it's coming just click on that bell notification then you'll get a little notification when I go live so you know when I'm, I'm here um, I'm not sure I don't think so I want to go outside tomorrow tomorrow morning I'll go on the track the Emonda uh, because I've not been riding outside for two weeks so I really looking forward to that Thanks for watching. Gonna see you next time. See ya!